Hi, I'm Tom Williams at AHW here in Monticello, Illinois. I want to talk to you today about John Deere's new redesigned Z500 series mowers, the 515E, the 530M, the Z530R, and the fuel-injected 545R. I have the Z530R here behind me. Let's take a closer look. So let's start at the front of the mower with the decal. The most common question I get from customers is, what's that last letter? With the Z500 series, you're gonna get an E, an M, or an R model. The E is the base model, the M is the step up from the base model to the mid trim series, and the R is the premium trim series. So just like shopping for a car or truck, the higher the trim level, the more features you'll get. This lettering system can also be seen in other John Deere products such as their Gators and compact tractors. When it comes to the mower deck, John Deere offers three sizes, the 48 inch, the 54 inch, and the 60 inch. When it comes to the E&M models, you can get the 10 gauge Excel Deep stamped deck in all three sizes. On the R models, you get the high capacity nine gauge stamped deck that only comes in the 54 and 60 inch. And no matter the deck size, it comes with the wash port to help you clean out the underside of the deck. Moving along, we have the fuel fill, which as you'll notice is low to the ground and angled to make it easier to put gas in the mower. Behind the fuel fill, we have two cup holders and a deck leveling gauge, as well as a tool to help you adjust the levers on the mower. Moving down to the tires, the Z500 series comes with two tire options. The E and the M models have the 22 by nine and a half tires. When you upgrade to the R models, they have the 23 by 10 and a half tires. Having these bigger tires will help reduce the bumps in your yard to give you a better ride quality. Also, with the R models, you get the fender flares. The Z500 series has three new engines from two different manufacturers. The Z515E has a 24 horse Briggs and Stratton engine, while the Z530M and 530R have the 24 horse Kawasaki. The Z545R has the new fuel injected Vanguard Briggs and Stratton engine. This is the first time John Deere has ever put a fuel injected engine in a zero turn residential mower. There are a lot of benefits to this and one big one is getting rid of that choke. One of the more valuable features of going with the R-Series is the upgraded transmission. It adds more durability and more speed for mowing. Also that comes on the R-Series is the towable hitch here that comes as an option on the E's and M's. One of the more noticeable features of the redesigned 500 series is the ROPS bar. This new ROPS bar adds additional safety in case of a rollover. They've also redesigned the pin system on these ROPS bars to make it easier to fold the ROPS bar over to get underneath those trees or to get in the garage faster. Moving around to the side, we have the storage compartment here. On the inside, we have the 12 volt power outlet. The R series also has the lid here to keep the elements out as you mow. Moving up to the operator station, we have the instrument panel. All the instrument panels are the same except on the Z545R. Since it's fuel injected, you get rid of the throttle lever and the choke lever, and you move to a three button throttle, low, eco, and high. In front of the throttle, we have the PTO switch that engages the blades, the key, and the light switch. The LED light package comes standard on the R series, but can be added to the E and M series. In front of the switches on the R series, we have the digital instrument cluster. On the left, we have the RPM gauge. In the middle, we have the fuel gauge. On the far right, we have the hour meter and above that, the battery voltage. Here at the top, we have the warning light indicator to let you know if anything's going wrong. The E and M models have a basic digital fuel gauge and hour meter. In front of the digital instrument cluster, we have the lever here to lock out the deck for transportation. In front of that, we have the all new height of cut adjustment system that allows you to set your deck anywhere from one inch to four inches with quarter inch increments. Another added feature on the redesigned Z500 series are the seats. 
The E series comes with the 18 inch back, the M series comes with the 20 inch back, and the R series comes with the 22 and a half inch back. Also another first on the Z500 series is the introduction of the Comfort Glide seat. Previously available on the Z7 and Z9 mowers, now comes on the Z5s, available on the M and R series. On this Comfort Glide system, not only do you get the up and down, you get the forward and back motion as well, greatly increasing the overall ride of the mower. The E series comes with the basic levers, while the M and Rs come with the premium levers that you see here. Lastly, we'll move to the platform. As you can see on the R series, we have the rubber floor mat and the rubber tow board. On the M series, it only comes with the rubber floor mat, and on the E series, it comes just as the metal platform. The foot pegs here come standard on the M and R series and come as an option on the E. These foot pegs double as good handles to take the foot platform off for easy access to the top of the deck. You'll notice the large rubber isolators here on the R series to help reduce the vibrations in the foot platform. On the E and M series, we have a smaller isolator that attaches here. When it comes to warranty, the E and M series has a four year, 300 hour, whichever comes first, factory warranty. When you move up to the R series, the hours increase to 500 with the same four year warranty. Again, I'm Tom with HW. Thanks for hanging with me on this walk around. For more information on these mowers, go to ahwllc.com. And remember, AHW is always here when there's work to be done. <laughs>